We are winding down virtually. Michael Quinlan from Table and Vine, of course, joining me. And you might notice a special guest today. We have Julia Checky, who actually worked on this amazing wine that we are trying today. Her family owns the vineyard, which is so amazing. And we're so happy to have you with us today, Julia. I'm so excited to be here with you, Jordan and, and Michael. It's an incredible opportunity. Thank you so much. Tell us a little bit about this wine, Julia. So we are in Tuscany. My family, um, it's more than 125 years old. So, uh, the, uh, we've been in, in, in the wine industry for more than 125 years. And, and the focus is Tuscany. Uh, our heritage is, is, um, is from the center part of Tuscany um, in between Florence and Siena, which our, with our historical estate. Um, but this winery, uh, specifically Val del Rose, uh, it's on the Tuscan coast, uh, about 10, 15 minutes from the beach, uh, which has a perfect climate for, uh, for, for red wines and to have a very ripe and, and complex um, um, uh, red wines and, and Merlot and Cabernet Franc has these wines. Is. Yeah, and I uh, love the packaging too. If you look at the back of the bottle, you can actually see a little bit of a map, which those things I absolutely love. You can see where the wine is from and Michael I know that you've uh, probably tried this wine a couple of times tell us about I have. it I have Julia uh, came to visit Table and Vine uh, and we had a socially distant meeting to try the wines back in the fall and I fell in love with this wine immediately uh, and I said this is just tremendous it's 95 percent Merlot and five percent Cabernet Franc. Uh, and don't just take my word for it. It's 93 points Wine Spectator and 93 points from James Stuckland. But I thought, boy, this is a great wine. I think it's going to be a great springtime wine. So immediately Easter popped into my mind. Uh, maybe grilled meat, like some olive oil and herbs, uh, maybe mushrooms, something like that are a great pairing for this wine. And I just love it. Well, I am so excited to try this. So virtual cheers as we are all remote at this time, taking a little bit of a trip with our wine, cheers. Cheers, cheers to Tuscany. Cheers to you, Julia, and your family. Thank you for being here with us. Cheers, salute. Salute, right. Uh, wow. Here's a picture of the package up close. Yeah. It says Aurelio, and uh, Aurelio is um, my new favorite wine in the store, right, at, right under $30. It's just a great, great value. Wow, a great price. This wine is so smooth. I can see how you meant like a, a springtime because obviously, mm. as we know, I'm more of a white, I'm more of a white wine drinker. And this is one of those wines that I wouldn't have a hard time drinking because it goes down so easy. One that we might call dangerous, borderline dangerous, goes down <laughs> too easy, perhaps, you know? It's true. It's very open on the nose. Uh, it's very uh, complex. There is a little bit of bell pep, red bell pepper, uh, which is typical of the Cabernet Franc. And then on the palate, it's really a, an explosion of fruit, I think. So it's it's very soft tannins that can be paired with or without fruits. That's definitely uh, the, the go-to. <laughs> <laughs> I mentioned the food pairings before, but I think you're right, Julia. You, you know, we're having no food at this time and the wine tastes really darn good. Yes, it does. And while we have you, Julia, this is obviously an amazing wine and we really want everyone at home to be able to try it for themselves because it really is. I mean, Michael, you mentioned the price, but it tastes like it could be so much more expensive. What's it like for you, Julia, having grown up around this, being Italian and being able to look at this wine so near and dear? your heart it's it's sharing the passions that my family it uh, has and and the traditions and the roots that i have my blood um it's really when i open this bottle it's like it remembers me to be back in tuscany so i really hope that when people uh, drink and and as you're drinking now you kind of remember a little bit or at least you can dream since we are not able to travel now um, of Tuscany. It's traveling through the bottles instead of traveling in person, which is always, it's still, it's still a little bit nice. Absolutely. I mean, like you mentioned, Julia, we can't actually go to Tuscany right now. So then what's better than just picking up a bottle at table in mind and trying it for yourself from the comfort of your couch. And that is what we will do. Thank you both so much for joining us Thank today. You. 
Of course, take advantage of Table and Vine's curbside pickup online ordering. And we can't travel just yet, but take a little sip of Tuscany. You can rewatch this episode on our website, westernmassnews.com.